Today is April 1st. Uh, um, today, uh, been, a, been a week since we've seen Ethan. Um, his parents commented that he went ahead and he went and practiced three times. We actually hit three times. They went four times, but the one day the court was full, is what I understand, correct? So you hit three times, yeah? So three times is a little bit more than what uh, I suggested, but it doesn't look like it was, uh, it, it actually looked like it was perfectly fine. The, uh, dad is doing uh, um, the feeding cor uh, in, a, in a way that uh, is actually um, reinforcing the things that uh, Ethan is doing. So as long as we don't try and do more than that, more than like uh, in, in the feeding, a lot of it is just a repetition. Today we will focus on Ethan uh, uh, trying to do a little bit more full work or show me the full work show me position one on the forehand side and the hop 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 Go and hop hop hop. So we're trying to do hop hop hop. So we just move forward and backwards Now he's doing like he's one foot is going up and then down. We're trying to get him, I'm trying to get him to do it like this both feet moving hop at the same time Yeah, but not as not like a bunny that weighs like 5,000 pounds, right? Uh, backhand side his forehand side the first few strokes that I saw they looked very good And so I was almost tempted to just focus on the backhand side uh, to um, But backhand side still is going to trail a little bit He does get the ball in on the backhand side, but it's a, a relatively flat ball has no shape has no any sort of like solid hit on it um, It's just sort of a, a stiff uh, um, Stiff shot, but um, it's still uh, It's good enough where he we can build from that so on the backhand side show me the backhand side go all right, he has a tendency to to um, we need to adjust this grip on the on on this one, All right? So we twist it right there. So this knuckle, try and get this knuckle a little bit more on this bevel. He tends to put that knuckle too far over there, and we'll see. It. We could end up adjusting it. And right now, looking at the grip he has here, it looks like this needs to be shifted over a little bit. So we don't worry about that right now. All right, so show me contact point. We talk talk to them about FRS, and FRS is this. Yeah, FRS a contact point. This is elbow is bent. All right, FRS is this. FRS is, acronym stands for forearm, racket, creates a straight line. Here. So this piece and that piece, the racket, the, the, the line that is created by the handle, that creates a straight line. There's a bump here, a right bump there that, that, create, that that's part of that straight line. Ethan has a difficult time understanding straight line, putting two straight lines and making one straight line. Um, this is bent. This is straight at contact point. Okay, from here we make the triangle. No, this is straight. Okay, this is bent. Okay, go to the triangle. Okay, so here we're going to go to the triangle. Which is that positioning right there, right? There's a lag on my phone. This is the triangle. Okay, all right. And follow through. All right, serve today. Uh, also, did some serve. Uh, I had him go ahead and adjust, toss the ball, holding it with uh, the three fingers and a thumb, uh, not using the pinky. Um, we did a service serve from uh, no man's land. He's getting it in. and need to adjust his uh, toss. Uh, he's starting in this position right here on the serve. Um, he does a pretty good job of getting it over. His con the, uh, the toss is uh, somewhat consistent. Um, it's a little bit too low sometimes, but uh, next time we're going to make spend a little extra time on the serve. Uh, definitely try a little bit of net feeding with him um, and see how he does. Uh, maybe we'll start to implement Hussein in his uh, in his consistency uh, uh, live ball stuff. All right, so we'll see you next time.